Okay, so I told you guys I was going to join you guys in a bit, and guess what? We are here. And uh, when you see us like this on a Tuesday, I beg your pardon, on a Wednesday, it's supposed to say, waiting carry has come a very simple thing where they talk about law. Actually, all of the things where they share it right now, they'll tell you ignorance of the law is never an excuse. Yeah, no, no. You, you know, and there's no small crime. All crime, not crime. There's nothing that is a small crime so they can let you go. He, if they catch you, now you be the scapegoat. And that now, why this money, as funny as it may sound, there is a legal side to it. Guess what? When I they borrow money, they agree pay back. Eh eh. I actually for if you know you are owing me, you are watching this show. After this show, I am coming to come and meet you because today's discussion is based on what they do. All right. So they talk about the legal side of borrowing and, and lending. lending. Okay. That now what if you know they lend money, you know they put maybe suppose a document. They write that down, yeah, but I said, come and say, how much do you mm. want to borrow? Madara. Mm. And that is that Madara saw this, uh, saw, he saw this coming. If you want to collect money from Madara, he has a special book. You write date, you write your name, you write amount, then you will sign. And then we tell you how much you want to add. So when you want to pay back, there's nothing like, I did not know. Better. We tell you, you signed, you collected, and I gave you. And you signed to it that you're going to give me. Madara. Is our colleague. <laughs> that one is Bobo Tibo. Anyways, Barista, it feels good to have you here. Nice to yeah. I so here to see all of Nawe the for house. <laughs> Maybe from here, I did take my mind eye to see Nawe na glue for na television. Have your allergen eyes. Uh, yeah, to see them. Na. Nice to have you people <clears throat> day here. Today, like let me take talk. We are talking about um, the legal side, the legal side of lending and borrowing. Now, typical thing, everybody they see, borrow me money, lend me money, or, you know, when they, the person where they give, now they lend. Mm. The person where they take, now they borrow. So, borrow me money, now from the person where they go, take. I go lend you money, now from the person where, uh, where, they, uh, where they give the money. And many times, these things don't put people into trouble, because uh, from the side of lender, mm. you know, if you're not know careful, there are legalities or there are law. We surround this issue. In fact, and that's why I like make us uh, separate this thing. Because emotion, what do they do inside the thing? Ah, she me a small money I borrow from you. Mm. Uh, Nigeria they borrow. Uh, yeah. even, uh, yeah, I don't say Nigeria they owe. Nigeria they owe and things mm. like that. All that thing, if you put into wala because the reality of the issue, we say, do you borrow or you no know borrow? Uh, and how you take borrow or how you take lend. Otherwise, you go find, say, uh, your expectation, you know, fit law, and because you no know, fit law, you fit uh, put yourself in trouble or you get disappointment. Now, one thing I want to talk, and yeah, I want to make this one little interactive. So, anybody will watch, I bet soon we open a phone like that to we'll go all interact about this thing. Number one thing I want to talk, we say, learn to know about the legality or the law which surround it, which they do. Uh, many of us don't know that. Um, you have to separate domestic lending. Which one is domestic lending? Now, yeah, I won't talk now. Uh, like, Stimity, come meet me now. Uh, uh, let me guys say, for instance, I, I remember um, when I was to start uh, my practice law, now my, 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 my sister husband, mm. he even say, he borrow me some money in that sense, make I go take, do some things. And for years, it was on my mind to pay. Eventually, I paid, though. Uh, he didn't ask me, but it was my mind to pay him. Because he used the word borrow. Borrow. So he said, lend me the money. Mm. But he gets one we give me. Okay. He gets one will borrow me. Mm -hmm. now, like but you can choose not to pay that one now. Uh, the one will give me. No, the one he borrowed. That's the thing. That's why they talk to you about domestic. Because many people, when you people borrow your money for inside family mm. or your friend, you take them say that... Anytime I like, I'll pay back. I go pay back. That one day. Mm. That one I call like domestic one. Where we say, it's on a family to it's family. It's family to friend family, to friend. friend to friend. And you know, that one, because many people they think, say, there's a contract, there's a legality. No, because that one uh, uh, is more or less like courty. Mm. I give you, courty demand that you give it back to me. Or the relationship that we have, the man say, you suppose return mm. the money to me. There is no legality. Attached mm, to that. Yeah. No, it's just a matter of say, 
we all day yeah. we borrow. Mm. You will suppose pay me mm. back, and that's why when many people they do this kind of thing, they know they know how to separate because when you they borrow person, your neighbor, your friend, money, or you they lend them money, and the thing say they don't get contract or return. If you tell us okay, by next week I go bring it back. Mm. If you not bring it back, there is little that can be done really than to expect or to feel disappointed mm -hmm. or to feel like this person yeah. next time. If I get one man, we will say, in brother, anytime, I mean, people, whenever they say they won't come, say they won't borrow money, he go give them less than what mm -hmm. they say they wanted, you know? But okay, borrow me about 50,000. He said deliberately will give them like 30,000. And the intention be say that, in no say they don't go pay they back. Go pay back. But one as so in for your mind, na dash. But since in a borrow, next time you will get right to, to come, come back. Act, yeah, because say, since you fail to even to pay borrow, back that one. Uh, so mm. he don't know for your mind, say na yafi. That mm. money na yafi. Na but na dash. But na borrow we call him. So if you don't get the honor to return the money, and then you cannot no, get I mean. the rights. And the audacity to come, come back, back say, and say you want, want to borrow, to borrow more, more, mm. Mm. more, more money mm. from your hand. So that one I did like that. We say, mm. you know, that. But get some people we say, once they borrow money from you, before even the appointed day, they will pay they back. Come back. Of course, that go the uh, go sustain to, yeah, relationship, relationship and what have you, mm. and things like that. So you know that kind of people, you did. You did mm. that kind of people. So but they no, default too, because. Of I course. think most of them, they will just want to gain the ground, to gain your trust. Exactly. And then I, once they have it, they start defaulting. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I agree totally with you. That's mm -hmm. why, whether in, at that point, when they do, if the person bring them back, all be good. If you don't bring them back, no problem. No problem. It's your reputation. Yeah, so you, I, I know what they're talking about. The person return them today, return them tomorrow. Yeah. Return them. And then you now ask yourself, uh, what, what changed? Uh, like, this guy comes as, even before I've been the very days. good. <laughs> I've been good. So that's why even some people use that even for, for banks. Mm. They go go so many times, borrow, return, borrow, return, to get the confidence of, from, the, bank. of the bank or the But then lending. there's always a collateral. Of course, that, uh, one, that, so one. that one. You can't no, you know, there's some people where we say at some point in time, the relationship will not build. Hmm. You can't get low when you get collateral. Uh, it don't it don't do well. We say you could just drop. You could just hmm. drop your guard ah. because this person repeatedly has never failed. Will always fulfill. Okay. So that relationship has been built up, and because of that, they your guards like... are. So then, are if dropped. if such happens, very star, and the person fails to pay back, I, now for a bank, uh, what happens? Because now. Obviously, it was just me coming to meet you, and because you feel we have reputations already, you just let me be, you give me whatever it is I want, and then I fail to pay you back. What happens to the bank, and what yeah, happens I, to let, me? Let me I share one story with you. This one happened to me in life. Um, one person like that, one bank, I mean, it was, I think it was, that bank was Citizens Bank of those days, <laughs> you know. They borrow one man money, and it's not a, that the transaction, the man will go, borrow money, mm. you get, get a paper to sign. Mm. But uh, uh, along the line, mm. along the line, the man, uh, they, give, they give him some money, we'll be say, you know, get collateral, mm. you know, get paper. So the man, man can't default. Mm. And they know say the man default. The man no get uh, ability to pay the mm. money. Probably, I think, his goods were seized oh. and things like that. So, you know, and the bank could not enforce anything because there was no way, because there was no documentation. Mm. So what the bank did, I can still remember that, was to go back to the man, sympathize with the man, be his friend the more, mm. and work on him to come and take more loan mm. so that he can, he okay, can like ginger that, that himself rub, yeah, back and on then be able to pay. Yes, oh. but this time around, when he was coming, they did an agreement that covered okay. the past one and, and the, the present, and the oh. present one. And you know, when the man called me, said the bank to make it come sign, I said, bros, hmm. as of today, the bank will get hold against you. But the moment you, you sign, sign any document, you don't they, commit. They don't they go, they go move the back and what have you. The man said, No, make you go to make you go to make you go, make you follow him. I follow him, go to the bank. You know, when you reach the bank, you know, the bankers you know what they do. All of them, mm. hey, Mr. Something. Yeah, they're welcome. Can they're welcome. Oh, I, they're welcome. And he said, who be this one? He said, my lawyer. I said, okay, okay. You know, before I know it, what did they, what did they do? We say, as I sit down there, me and the man sit down like this. After a while, they just call the man, say, make the man come. They want to ask him something. <laughs> before you know it. He had signed. The man came back saying, don't sign, make me go. 
I said, what's going happen? He said, you don't sign. Why did you go with your lawyer? I said, so why, why you come bring me, Carry come me. here? Just pay me my own fees, man, to go. I said, <laughs> all the essence of what, of course, they took his house eventually. Mm. Because that's why you have to understand that when it comes, I mean, that people, when because of that relationship, mm. maybe with the banker, the officer mm. banker, mm. they are forgotten to do some mm. things. Mm. And then, you know, but when they realize it, they find a way to do whatever they can do. Uh, and a legal matter, and we can't put this money where the reason the legal side of lending, <coughs> excuse me, legal side of lending and borrowing, right? So please feel free to call the numbers on your screen 08173 Of course, 08105 Okay, and you're free to also call us on top of our Skype. You can see for yourself our app TV. Now, Barista, see, you know, say you get some things with some banks they do. Like, if they know, I think they know how they check if you are a salary earner or not. So I know say some banks, are always, <coughs> sorry, sir, some banks they always give out loans, you know, to their people. They'll be like, okay, fine, you have to collect this for six months and then you pay this in return. So now I want to ask, but of course, for things like that now, no collateral, you only be deducting from your salary once any money comes in. So for eventually the person loses a job, is or a job, what happens? And there's no way to pay back the money. What happens in that situation? Usually, mo mo most times, uh, without you knowing that, um, inbuilt is a check, is a check procedure that is there. And sometimes they even ask you to uh, get somebody, just casually somebody, to to be a kind of a backup for you. Most banks they ask you to do, like maybe a colleague of yours. No, some uh, banks don't even need to go there because I have people that did it. Did it. Like you don't, yeah, you don't even need to go there. They are like, I, I, I remember there was a time my, my account oh, so you don't, officer. You don't feel from. <clears throat> she actually called and she told me, and I was like, I still I was interested. She said, No, don't worry, the amount on it is not too much. But I said, I am not interested. So it was more like they were just trying to make life very easy for people. In, in any case, whatever, so, whatever you do, the truth is that um, they also have your all your details. They have, like, they, they just, you know your customer, they know everything, more or less. So there's a way. So anytime money comes in. Of course, of course, of course, there's a way. And there's a way. And right now, what is going on is like, right now, um, there is this platform whereby accounts are shared, accounts, um, your BVN is one. Yeah, okay, so uh, the accounts are linked up. They mm -hmm. are linked up. So if you say you are trying to move, uh, except you are not using banking system again, mm. The day my money comes, they will flag it. If it enters any of the yes, banks, they will flag it, and oh, really? they, because it's um, it's something that they are trying to do with mm -hmm. networking of all the banking okay. institutions and what have you. So, and even in some instances, what I've noticed is that um, some lenders, they will in the one one that I know that happened, the lender um, ask that you know when you are giving, they just your number. Then when they are giving it was like a soft an app, they will ask that they want to your contact okay. access to your contact. Okay. And when you, you must agree. Mm -hmm. So when that contact is when they have access mm -hmm. to your contact, when you default, they have a uh, the what kind of message they will send to all your contact. Okay. Say this so man. Say, okay, this person is going you know, okay. to okay. make you come okay. pay <laughs> like to embarrass <laughs> you. To so come you are forced pay to back, look for how to pay and, back. To pay back. Okay. You know, but plus, that one can be done by institutions that you know have um, license to lend money, mm. because that's another thing we I want to talk about. Because um, you know, I was trying to say you talked uh, about domestic, domestic yeah, loans. Yeah. Because, uh, but many of us, many people, the only thing you can do now to give domestic loan, and that's why. The legality surrounding your lending, you have to make your sure, sure say you, you know and well, well. Mm. Because if you are not a money lender, there's a limit to which you I don't understand, you. but I said, see, you know, when you say if you are not a money lender, okay. it's like there's a certificate yes, for yes. money lender. Oh, thank you very much for that word. Flesh and blood. No, no, no. You see, because uh, legitimately, before you can say that I'm lending money for with interest, you must have a certificate, a permission to do that. Is that you're a mm. bank, eh? or you go to, for yourself, for Lagos State now, mm. there's what they call money lender license. Okay. You will go, go Ministry of uh, Internal, uh, Ministry of Interior, yeah. eh? go get that license. You mm. go, probably your lawyer will help you get them. So when you get that license, mm. with that license, you can say, Stimity, mm. I lend you uh, 10 naira. 
and you go give me back 15 naira. Okay. Legitimately. So if there's eh? none like that, no, you don't no, have you right can't. to collect you interest. That's, you can't be collecting interest. Or you can't interest. even call yourself a money lender. No, you can't. That's why those arrangements can be illegal. I mean, mm. anybody will understand and go say, okay, hmm. who we'll, we'll give you the right to be so lending dude, money? Yeah. That's why it becomes a case of honor to honor. And that's why you can see that sometimes bad, bad blood, they enter them. Oh, you think he's smart? I will mm. show you. Mm. Those kind of levels. Mm. And that's why you even see some people will be seen as Shylock. Mm. They, they, uh, they give you the money mm. back door. They're not be like that, but they yeah. go try to say that, make you not try to escape. Because if you try, they know what to get you. Yeah. They know what to do. They can hurt your people. They mm. can do this one in that one. So all these things are there. Because uh, ordinarily, because before you could say you won't lend money to, and to get interest back for that money, except in our goods. Eh? If somebody come buy things for my own and come to say, okay, if you buy for now and pay me money, now nah, later, 10 you'll pay, yeah. Eh, but if you say now nah, later, you go pay me this kind, kind of bond money. Okay. That one, that one are good, sales of good, mm. you know, credit sales. Yeah. So you can, you can build it. But when it is like, come, this is cash, mm. not cash, you are paying me back this amount later, mm. there has to be a legitimate basis. Ah. Uh, ah. So, when, uh, we, we, Kule, <laughs> if Kule, that's the case, we are all guilty uh, somehow. So, Kule, Kule, how you doing? Hi, Kule. Uh, it's gone. Okay, no, please yeah, call Kule. back. Call so, back. so that that that's like the thing. So you have to. So are you saying, Barista, mm -hmm. without without a certificate? Because seriously, some persons have actually turned this to a business. Of course, they have so of much. Of course, of course. They will, they will choose to give up because they know that okay, there will definitely be an interest coming on whenever you have to return my money. So now you say that I cannot just have an agreement with you where I tell you, yeah, okay, yeah. barrister, so you're just going to sign. I do not have a certificate, <coughs> but I could want to help, but I need, I need you to pay interest whenever you're returning the money. So are you saying I can't like call you now and say, okay, barrister, I have to sign before I can give you the money? Oh, because you see, oh, that's why I have to say I have to know the legality because most times, it's ignorance of the law, like we say, it's not an excuse. People do that a lot. I see that in... Like it's uh, very common. Uh, very common. But really, the reality of it is that you can't push beyond that agreement. Mm. Because to even enforce that agreement, it may be a difficult thing in the sense of that. And that's why people resort to violence, resort to under extra ordinary mm. means. Okay, look, since you think I cannot do anything, I will do since there's agreement and you. whatever. And sometimes you can and even get policemen to be using to harass people. Because really, when it comes to loan and things like that, police cannot harass you. You cannot, mm. you cannot even call police. So if you go and call police, you can even turn to another level. There can be petition written mm. against that person and the police. Who, where is your certificate? You know, for what have you. So mm. these are all the issues that you, as a lender, because today I'm paying attention more on the lender. You okay. know, by God's case, next week I pay attention on the borrower. Mm. Because you, as a lender, you have to understand what are you doing. Because the tendency and the, uh, the, the ability to say you go lose your money, it did well, well, because if you don't understand the legality involved, it's not just easy because you have 100 naira uh, hmm. and I want to, you know. I swear those don't want to collect a job around. Yeah. They borrow people money, they lend people money. You have to be very careful because even a job people, you know, when it comes to, you can collect. I'm saying, okay, you're a thrift collector. Mm. You are collecting to return their money to them. But when somebody's not coming to you, it's okay. Uh, borrow me from that a job when you collect. Mm. Uh, the, it becomes like you have to be careful, say, Am I a lender? Can I lend this money? Because really, <laughs> what you are doing is that. But even for this Allah job that you just talked about, mm. Nabarisa, do they have a certificate? Like, do yeah, they, it, like, is it certified? I don't know. You know, it gets to a level where you can say that thrift collection, when it becomes like a proper banking, you have to go and get. Like a micro. Uh, yeah, micro. You have to get. Um, um, but you know, uh, me and you know that's mm. not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those ones I used to write. Oh, to those care, ones, those ones. See, that, that, one like, now, that one is okay to the extent that you are not overdoing it. Because what you are just trying to just say, um, um, like you are, you are, you are encouraging thriftiness. Send me this food it is Okay, bring me one thousand today. <coughs> after after one <coughs> one month, mm. I will give you twenty nine thousand mm. less one thousand. Yeah, because let me help you, my, yeah. help you to uh, to. So that mm. one. Not be lending. You're not lending. Somebody just help you to say, okay, instead of having the money for your house, I go be. But the then is it legal? Because we was we was station where we say person wrong with the person money. Of course, at that level, mm. at that level, the trust mm. element comes into it. Of course, there's so many instances. Mm. That, at that point in time, it becomes a breach of trust, criminal okay. obtaining by false pretense. Okay, you understand me? So mm. there can be criminal elements. Oh. okay, obtaining by false pretense, a breach of trust. Okay. all those things can. Okay, come let's in. let's take a maker from a number. A maker. Emeka. 
Chuke Emeka. <laughs> Emeka, good morning. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with the lines. Ah, Chuke Emeka. Oh, oh. Emeka. Whichever one. <laughs> so, um, Hello, good morning. Oh, he's there. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine. Yeah, my question is, I'm enjoying the show. Thanks for the. Thank you too. Yeah. So my question is, uh, after this um, protest, uh, the government has been suing some some of the people that participated in this process. Is it is it that we don't have right as citizens to express our human rights or so? Emeka, thank you very much. I, I, I hear you very well. Okay. We, everybody has a right because it's a part of your fundamental human right. Okay, to talking about the protest. Yes, to, to express yourself, to say what is in your mind. So long that you are in the presence of saying it, you are not doing it against the law. Are you understanding me? But what has happened with that answers, which like I would say, was I jacked. Was I, was I I, it was going to be I jacked because at the point in time, it was a very noble cause. And we all know when that thing had become, you know, when it was reaching a point, we said, look, it's going to become um, go down because that's a normal trend. Uh, 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 every, almost every um, uh, protest we have seen in Nigeria has been hijacked. Uh, when it was uh, Oshimole and Obasanjo in those days, uh, NMP's um, fuel crisis it was hijacked. When it was uh, Abela crisis, it was hijacked. Last, you know, when it was um, um, sometimes about four years ago, when uh, I think I don't forgot what happened there, it was hijacked. You know, so it was going to be hijacked. At that point in time, when looting and illegality happens, then there's no way that the police will not uh, be involved or the kind. So you can have to separate your legitimate right and um, the right. I think that's why Lagos State government is actually appealing to every citizen now that they should just stay off the protest because of the damages and yeah. that happened. But anyway, so right now we're not talking about protests, we're talking we're about that. lending and, and borrowing. borrowing. So if you want to talk on that, you can give Barista a call after the show. But if you have questions relating to lending and you borrowing, then you can call us on the show to make your contributions. So, so as we are saying, because of time, mm. you know, so, <clears throat> so all lenders, and I like your question, mm. all lenders have to be very careful. Um, you know, because it goes back to the next point with the head, you have to separate your emotion from the, mm. the reality of the transaction. You have to separate it, separate it. Because yes, if you are, uh, escape as a, as a borrower mm. and you as a lender, uh, you, are, you are going to ask yourself, am I lending because I have the power mm. to lend legally? Or am oh, I lending, yeah, lending because, because, uh, because mm. I, 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 I want to be nice mm. and I expect her or him to, to, also to reciprocate, reciprocate your, and then yeah. pay back mm. as, a, as a dish time. Mm. Uh, you understand what I'm trying to say? So it, it's very possible. There are soft loans that are loans that can say, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's take it. Emeka is calling back. Emeka? Yeah, I called back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I saw the topic now. So I'm sorry I did not ask question concerning the... Yeah. Okay, my question now is, what if you borrow somebody money and the person dies? How are you going to recover your? Uh, seriously, uh, that's that's one thing that you have to understand that <laughs> sometimes indebtedness goes with the the debtor. Okay, and that's true. Uh, except there's a legal document that says that that indebtedness is carried over. Where it's called, it includes his heirs, assignees, and okay. what have you. So if where he dies, the, it, it, it goes, it, it, is, goes, it, goes it goes, it goes, it goes with him most <laughs> times. But you know, for sake of honor, sometimes in the village, they probably when that indebtedness is going, that thing was going to be borrowed, and what have you. Probably have called them. Um, you have called people around that okay, I'm borrowing a maker, I'm lending a maker this kind of money. So when a maker dies, not you, but when a maker, <laughs> you know, you know, so that that at that point in time, <laughs> what happens is that. The people that know about it can say, okay, your your family or your father lent or borrowed money from from this man. It's obvious yeah. we have to yeah, we have to continue from well, here we next week continue. because we are just that it's a fresh topic and start. I see people are interested already. So guys, thank you so much for joining us. Have again a wonderful today. time. See have ya next week. <laughs>